Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Satisfactory. I was just going through my inventory there, trying to get a little bit of room, because apparently I don't have too many slots, and yeah, needless to say, I'm filling up awfully quick, because these miners are filling up awfully quick, which is good, because we need iron, we need all the resources we can get. Uh, what I've been thinking about doing is, because we're going to actually need a lot of rods and a lot of plates, I might as well start the, the mass production right away. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start building another smelter. I do have enough, and I want to make sure I'm going to put it side by side with this one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the. Oh, I can't afford it. <laughs> That's why I can't place it. Uh, yeah, I was going to have a smelter and another. Uh, another, uh, what you would call it there, machine. Um, constructor, yes. I want to call it assembler, I want to call it a fabricator, I want to call it many different things, but it's none of those things. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and make a little bit of wire here. Uh, what did I need for it? I needed more than enough wire. Need to make a few ingots here and make some rods. And that's actually what I want to try to do is get some rod production going and get these things set up and running. So and then that way, once we get the miners going in, at least they're coming out. Then we'll have to get some storage going, all that stuff. And I think we get the the storage with the next tier too. I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, let's go ahead and place another smelter down. I have checked the power consumption. These use four megawatts a piece, whereas you can actually line up. Let's see if we can do it from this way. I'm gonna try to get like. No, I'm gonna have to put the constructor down first, just so it actually lines up. And I need reinfor reinforced plates. Of course I do. Of course I do. Which is no problem because I actually made more than enough rods. Uh, let's see, reinforced plates need 54 screws. I just need plates, which I should have in here. I ran a load of iron through, so I should have a hole. Thought I put iron in here. I guess I didn't. Now I did. I was going to, but I didn't because I knew I was going to be setting up another, uh, another smelter and constructor. So we need two plates, was it? Two plates for constructor. Three. I think I can afford to make some screws and make one more plate and that is it so let's go ahead and make a constructor go place it right next to this one and then that way we can actually line up the, the smelter with this okay so come on come on where's that green line again there it is. Little finicky. Be nice if there was an auto snap. I think next time I see that green line, I'm just going to go for it. There we go. Let's place it there. And now for a smelter. And a smelter, of course. Actually, I do have enough. Oh, what do you know? Now let's see if we can actually get this to line up with both of them. Oh, I might be able to do it. I'm not, I don't really care, but somebody might, come on, where is it, okay, there's that one, uh, I just gotta find the other one, which I think was further up here, somewhere, somewhere there should be a green line, we got one there, where's the other one, oh, probably cause it's gonna be, actually, somewhere around here, come on, come on, there's that one, and this one's going to come out a little bit more. Unless it's only going to line up with one object at a time. And I think that's what it's going to do. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. Well, let's try to eyeball it then. Or the best I can, anyways. And that is me being out of power. Aha! Of course, it takes a power outage for me to actually get the right spot. That's fine, because I had made a whole bunch of biomass out of this wood, and I went to the wrong side for some reason. I put it on this side for a specific reason, and that was so it'd be close to the machines. Okay, get that generator running. Now, I should have actually enough... No, I don't. Uh, i got to make another pole. I'm not going to have enough connections. So let's place a pole on the other side here, actually. We're going to have to make two of them. 
put one here and we'll think ahead and probably put one right here and that's just because I'm going to need power for the miners when the time comes alright connect you to uh, that pole oh I need cable of course I need cable I always need cable this is why you mass produce stuff and that will be coming in due time I'm actually going to need a lot of cable now that I think about it. Craft that and that. Okay. Now we should be able to do it. No, nope, two. So we connect you to. No. No, I did not want you on there. I want you on there. Okay. Oh, I was gonna say, what did I run out of power? And I realized I just ran out of it ran out of stuff to run. And there we go. Oh, no, I was place the last one here, going all the way to uh, that one. All right, now you are you are not done. Well, you're done. Yes, done, done. All right, conveyors. One, two. We'll set you to set you to rods. So one is rods, one is plates. And we are good to go. Ingots, iron ingots. No, do not punch the expensive machine we just built. Okay, and we'll throw some more iron in here. So now we have two stacks of iron coming out. This guy here is making us some rods. This guy here is making us some plates. And we are good. So they can do that while I go run and grab some more copper. Because I think we're going to be pretty close to getting up another upgrade. I'm going to take this while I'm here. Just because it's gonna fill up, it's gonna fill up quicker, and we get more resources. The successful, one of the greatest successes to. I thought I saw something move up there, but it was something drawing in. Uh, one of the best ways, one of the best ways to succeed in automation for mass production is to make sure your machines are always running, and that's why the portable miner actually sucks ass because you have to keep on emptying it out. But once we get the conveyors going, we are going to be good. And look at that smoke. Oh, yeah. It's kind of weird that the, smelter, the smelters actually give off smoke like that. Like, technically, it's electric. It should have no exact actual exhaust, except for where our fumes come off the, the ores. Realistically, especially with, like, an arc furnace. But anyways, so what are we doing here? Conveyor belts, yada yada yada, and biomass. So we are working up to the next tier, which is going to be here. So we need 100 plates, we need 20 concrete. I think I can actually make that. No, I can't. So we got to find some. We got to find some limestone. Limestone right over there. Okay, we're gonna go hit up this one. I'm not going to worry about the miner just yet because pretty soon we're going to be putting a real miner down. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. Oh, hello. You want to play? Let's play. Ha <laughs> ha. Ha ha ha. Gotcha. Okay. Impure. What, there's no actual node here? Oh, that's not what I want. Let's uh, see what else we got around here. Yeah, I know I'm standing on one. Four, 300 and 200. Oh, so that means I gotta take impure. Oh, hang on. There's one right here. That's what I want. Get the pure stuff. Oh yeah, makes for better concrete, right? Gotta get those impurities out, and there we go. Oh, and there he is. Where are you? Come on, run away! I gotta figure out how to get back up there. He's stuck behind a rock. Go up this way. 
So that's where our limestone miner is going to go. Let's all take that. I don't think we need it for more than just one research, but it's there anyways. Let me up. Come on. There we go. Up. Up. Need to get back to my factory before I run out of power. How else will I be able to pollute the environment anymore? Okay. Now, give me concrete. Just so I happen to grab enough for 20. Alright, so we'll put... Oh, split the stack. I always want to drag over. Okay, 20 concrete. Uh, need five more cables. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. It's kind of hard to make just five, but yeah, in a game like this, the more the merrier. Alright, and then I should have plates and rods. I have enough plates. And I should have almost enough rods. In fact, I'll have to wait. But since I'm here, you can have that because I grabbed that for you and I grabbed one for you as well. So you guys can work on that. And three more, two more. And voila. All right, let's get an upgrade, get rid of these little guys out of here and get some big things out. Some of these land generations, I tell you, they're weird. Uh, I do believe this is actually all procedurally generated, so every playthrough is slightly different. All right, and upgrade, bang. All right, I got email too. So now I get the miner, the miner, the miner. And we have a biomass generator as well. Shut up. Thank you. Okay, so now we need miners. What do we need for the miners besides a personal miner? We need five rods and concrete. All right, what do I have for concrete? I can make a few more. I can make three. No, I can make two miners, actually, because I need five concrete for each one. Is that right? Yeah. Hmm. And then I need a, a small miner for it as well. <sighs> I gotta find some more limestone. Because I'd like to get at least three of them going today. Or at least right now. And let's just check, see if I can see any nodes around. Because uh, they don't get picked up on the radar, it's just uh, deposits. But you find those nodes, like what I had there, was enough to get me some. But that's the thing, it's just some, it's not an endless supply that'll do me for the rest of my life. But judging from what I see, I don't see anything. That's some limestone over here, let's go see what we got over here. And grab some leaves while we're on the way. I know once we get into coal we won't need it, but we'll be going through a lot of it. Here we go. Gimme. Gimme. If only it was this easy, huh? But then we don't have technology that can just magically build stuff for us. And yet, even though we do, we have to actually break the rock down with a chisel. Go figure. I'll grab you while I'm at it. Since it's here. Gets me another miner, that's for sure. And I hear something moving. Uh, that does not sound good. Oh, this is quite the deposit. Okay. Back we go. That almost looks like a little hut. Anyway. Let us head back and we'll get some miners down. We'll get the smoke machines up and running. Did we get storage yet? We did. What do we need for those? No, that's not what I want. What do we need for them? Plates and rods. All right, cool. Mass production has begun. All right, run back here. 
you know I'm going to be setting up a conveyor network just for the, for the sake of actually being able to go from one place to another. They're not going to be for anything else but for my own personal lazy ass. Alright, make a whole bunch of concrete. Okay, and what did I need for the miner? Uh, let's see, production, miner, and rods. Okay. Hoi! And we'll grab you, and run over here. And we'll pick you up. Uh, grab ball, pick you up. And now, we drop the miner down. So, this is what I like too, is you can rotate without actually being like exact snap. So what I want to do is I want to I want to get this one going sort of towards the one on the left. And we'll go over here. And we'll grab this, empty it, take you, and we'll place another miner down. Mm, there we go. Yes. Now this one, give me the same thing, rotate it just a little bit, going towards. Over there sounds good. All right, now we need some power. Uh, I have no cables. Oh my god! For first world problems. I never have this. I never have that. I probably gonna need more cable, but I think this should be enough. So we go here, get some power lines. We go uh, bang. Ooh. Oh, I did too. Aha. Good. Oh, that's a problem too. Hmm. Hmm. Right, that's not what I want to do. I'm filling with the controls here. Uh, I won't connect to there, I won't connect to there, because that's full. Uh, that one's full. Ugh. Damn it. So that means i got to place a pole down. I'm going to place a pole right here. I need wire, of course, because I used all my wire to make cables. Without thinking, of course. I'll go ahead and make a, a bunch of wire. Grab a pole and we'll stick the pole right right there. And then take you. And then we'll connect you to there and there to there and then there to there. Okay. Now, before this thing actually shuts down, let's get some fuel in here. Because the miners haven't started running yet. I don't think, oh yeah, fuel's over here. I have no idea how long this is going to last, but I know I'm going to have to start making a whole bunch more. And... What am I looking for? Yeah, biomass. Consuming four. Oh yeah, because these aren't actually running yet. That's right. Well, they will be in a minute. Oh yeah, I need, I need plates. Lots of plates. Guys, it's conveyor time. I said conveyor time, not power line time. Okay, you and you can go right to there. Okay, good. Then clip to the ground. Oh, come on, give me that. And you go right down to there. Oh, yes. I, that's why my power consumption never went down. Or I went up because I never actually hooked them up. Get okay, one and two. Ha 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 ha. Now it begins. This is what I mean about moving parts. Oh, that is so cool. I didn't even notice that. It actually has core, uh, coring, well, not bits, but extensions. I don't actually pay attention to this, see if this actually starts slowing them in. Because I saw the arm go up and it had one. Because I had them right here. Good job. Attention to detail. If you don't know what these are for, is to help the machine drill deeper and deeper and deeper. Uh, it's taking two meter sections putting them together to make a 200 meter section. That's what it's doing. So that's cool. And we have production. Good. So now we need a place to store all this junk. And I think for the time being, 
I don't know if I want to put the containers up here. We should start expanding down pretty quick here. But we can always we can always feed out of the containers, so that's not an issue. Now what do I need for containers? Let's go here and plates and rods. Okay. That works out perfectly. Except the fact that I can't see what I'm doing here. Okay, we line that up like that. And where is it? Where is it? Uh, where's that green line? Come on, there it is. You know, it would actually be nice if they had a ghost of it. So you'd be able to see where you are in relation to the other one. Now this one here, I'm not going to worry about where it's lined up with the other container. I just want it lined up straight coming out of the machine. As soon as I can find that green line. Somewhere around here. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, there it is. There it is. Wait, why is it showing crooked? Or is it just just the way the hitboxes are? Oh, because I put them down crooked. That's right. Let's do it this way then. Okay, let's try again. Go back to build storage container because it wasn't perfectly straight. That's why. And we'll try to get this close if we can. We've gotta find that magical green line there, and then right there. Grabs conveyors. We'll do this one first. And, uh, there. And there to there. So now we have plates coming out, we have rods coming out, we are being mass produced. Awesome. So now we gotta get a miner out of that copper mine. Uh, let's see, do I have enough to build another miner? I do. Alright, off to the copper. Makes me wonder if that thing's actually gonna run out of these. Chances are it won't. Probably just an animation that makes it look like it's reloading the cartridge. But anywho, back to the copper mine. Makes me kind of curious what kind of things we'll find around here. If we go exploring, that is. I know there's some uh, bad things. I'm gonna take you. We'll take that off. We'll go ahead and drop another miner down. Oh, look at that. The animation of the one on the right is smooth, the one on the left is choppy. Interesting. Okay. Now, I'm probably going to end up doing something with copper here, so we'll just go ahead and place a conveyor here. And then I want to get a, a smelter. We'll bring the smelter further down here. I have no idea where I'm going to put it. I would almost think it would be a good place to put this because eventually I'm going to start expanding down that direction I think I know I can move all this stuff eventually but it doesn't really matter so maybe we'll keep the smelter close to the miner for now and then go from there now are you actually going to give me a green line no you won't because I'm too far away that's I hit, the, I hit Q for some reason. I wanted to rotate, but I hit the wrong button. So yeah, we'll just put the smelter right here. We'll, split, we'll spread the smog out the best we can. All right, and conveyor from there to there, and I'm out of plates, of course. So let us see how we are doing for production. I can't even remember what I gotta make to upgrade to the next tier now. I don't even think I looked, to be honest. But these should be going until they're completely filled up, which will take a long time to do. Well, let's let's have a look in the hub here, see what we need for the next the next tier or the next hub upgrade. Wow, 500 wire. So then that means I'm going to be mass producing wire. All right, 
So now we need another constructor. And I need more reinforced plates. Of course. Uh, actually. Actually, how many screws do I have on me? Oh, I'm sorry, I gotta do some math here. I need three. And reinforced plates take two, 24. So I should be able to go ahead and do this. And uh, that. Which is enough for a constructor. Awesome. Alright, so we're gonna go with this right up here. And I'm pretty sure I'm maxing out my power, so we're gonna have to probably get that biomass burner up and running. I know I'm gonna have everything all over the place, but eh, we can always move stuff later. Like I said, it's not that big of a deal to, to disassemble anything. It's just a matter of hitting F and down it comes. But we're not gonna do that. Okay, constructor. We're gonna call this copper copper wire way. Cause that's what we're making is copper wire. Yeah, it wouldn't let me place it because that was there. All right, conveyor to there, and I need more plates, of course. Let's go get some power down here. So that's three machines. That's going to be another 12 megawatts, I do believe. Let's see how much this actually takes. Five. So another 14. Nope, 13. Let's see what we got here so far. I've got two generators running. Oh, there we go. Uh, 26, so that'll max me up. All right, so now we're gonna have to go and get a. Uh, did I not actually make a biomass burn? Get the biomass burner, or is that the next upgrade? I think that's next next upgrade. Yes, it is. Well, we must well select that. So copper wire. Ugh. Well, in that case. I'll make the wire myself, and we'll just have to, we'll just have to get it to mine it and smelt it for us. So I got a pole there, I have no idea how far these things will actually go, but we're going to find out. I want to see if I can get a pole up here. Uh, let's see, uh, do that. Uh, go to power line, nope, power line. Oh. Yes, I need copper, <laughs> I need cables. Uh, where am I? I should be having this, uh, all this stuff mass produced by now. This is crazy. What's wrong with me today? Alright, a whole bunch more wire and uh, make a whole bunch more cable. Now, from what I've seen, this uh, power line actually reaches quite a ways. So I should be able to connect everything from to this one here. And let's see, there to there oh I made wires not cables silly me it'd be nice if we can run faster too okay cables that's what I want I was watching that number go up and I'm thinking alright I got all I'm getting all these cables now and I forgot that I actually had to craft them first <sighs> okay let's do this again number two Get up here. Uh, someone's screaming. Uh, be screaming even more if he comes near me. Okay, and then we'll connect you to all the way up there. Nice. Okay. Oh, I forgot the plates. Oh my god, I forgot the conveyors. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. All the way back. Now it would be really cool when they finally get to the final release of the game. The environment should change depending on how much uh, how many machines you have running, how much pollution you got going on. But just to add that realism, right? But anyways, now we go back up here. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to. Well, I guess if I shut one of the miners down, I'd be able to get this auto crafting. But then, where's the fun in that? Alright, compare to there. And out comes the copper. Alright, now you are going to set to copper. 
And now we wait. Well, no, no. We don't necessarily wait. Uh, well, actually, I do have copper to smelt. So I, uh, I find the old copper smelter here. Still hasn't got in yet. No, I could go and craft this stuff myself, but I know it's going to take a while and worry about destroying my machine. We'll, we'll do it anyways. Just because. Actually, what I can do is I can take care of the rest of this stuff. 150 rods, 150 plates, which should be all crafted by now. Put those in there just for the time being. Nope, uh, 35 wire, and I need 30 concrete. So I just need to make eight more concrete. Which is right there. So that is concrete. Now I'm just waiting on the wire. Uh, the wire should actually be made pretty easy and fast by me. So there's plates, and we need rods. We need a lot of rod. And that, that's all the rod we need. And now for the rod, and the nice purple sunrise again. Okay, so I want to split this down to 46. Because we don't want to give them more than we have as we need to. As far as I know, there's no refunds on, the, on it. And that'll be 66. If my math is right. It is. And now for the, uh, the, the wire. And I've, been, I've been playing too many games where they have jetpacks because I wanted to turn my jetpack on so I could get over here quicker. Probably should build a ramp. But then where's the fun in that? Okay, I will take that and see what I need. See how much wire that'll make me. Uh, what I'll probably do is, because going to be a little bit of running back and forth. So I'll bring you back when I have the wire ready and we're ready to upgrade the hub to the next tier. Okay, I'm on my last quick little run here to the, the copper smelter here. I had a bit of a power issue. I ran out of fuel. Big surprise. So I had to go and get up a whole bunch of wood and leaves. So I got some biomass for the time being, but that's not going to last. Uh, but hopefully the next one, this biomass burn we get is going to be a little, bit, a little bit more uh, efficient, we'll call it. All right, so 500 wire. Go ahead and upgrade. Bang. Wow. That was quite the upgrade. Even the gods themselves loved it. Oh, hello. And you. That's kind of cool. Now, what is the whole purpose of this thing? No idea why it's got to go get set up like that. Protocol? What are you talking about, protocol? All right, the research station. Yada, yada, yada. All right. So what do we have to research? Uh, five minutes on that, or five hours. E. Well, let's go ahead and research this. Uh, take a while. That's fine. So that is doing that thing. Uh, what did we unlock? The biomass burner. Output 20. Hmm. Uh, it's manually fed. Okay, so that sounds interesting. Unless we got more, uh... That's the same, same one. Yada yada, storage container, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I guess we're gonna have to make another biomass burner so we can get another miner up and running. Alright, so, plates. It's a good thing I got plates being mass-produced. At least they were until I had power issues. Okay. So let's put another burner somewhere. Hmm. Where's a nice peaceful area to create some pollution? I don't even have a spot on this cable. 
but that doesn't mean I can't hook up over here. All right, biomass burner. Now, which way? Let's do it like so. And that was a random click, but it still worked. Okay, and we don't need to worry about no stinking pole. Oh God, no! Hook it up just like that. I need 29 cable for that. Yeah, that works for some reason. I have no idea why. Okay, and biomass. What do I have for biomass? I should actually make up that leaf biomass because there's biomass with wood and biomass with leaves. That's amazing. Another thing, this thing's getting bigger, and I can't wait till I actually get the paint gun so I can start painting things. Uh, what do I need? Uh, biomass. Oh wow, I can actually make a lot of leaf biomass, or wood biomass. Which is what I've got going on the other machines here. The other jannies. So that is that. We'll go ahead and craft some wood biomass. And I'm out of wood, so... We go... All the way up here. See if we can jump off this rock. No, I can't. I can't even climb it, of course. Oh, yeah, it was down here. Ah, ha, 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 I know what I'm doing, I told you. Okay. Nope. That's not power, so now we can do 60. Wait a minute, what's going on with my power situation here? Consuming 16. Oh. I know why, because these aren't running, because that's full. Anyway, let's go ahead and connect that to there, and we will connect you to... Oh, I did it again. Alright, we got to build another pole then. Which I don't have concrete for, of course. Okay, let's run over here. I got this feeling too, you can run faster without a hologram in front of your face, I don't know why. Probably because you don't have the extra weight. Uh, what did I need? I needed concrete. Make that. Thank God it's quick and easy to make. Just like mom used to make, right? So now we go over here. If I can get up. No. No. Let me up. Let me up. There we go. Hmm. Alright, so these are going to have to be on their own pole then. Go ahead and we'll take that one off and that one go to here connect that to that da, 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 and da. all right move oh yeah uh, you need to make nope wire and just because we're gonna go ahead and we put a storage container at the end of it just to make sure that this thing keeps on running Why is it trying to line up with that over there? Oh. We gotta turn it around, that's why. Now, yes, you are straight. Straight enough, and we'll get it close to save on conveyors. Speaking of conveyor, we do that and that, and there we go. Automate, please. Thank you. So now we got wire, we got plates, we got rods, we got another generator, and we got lots of pollution. Good. So now we go on a trip we'll be able to actually find out where we live other than the uh, HUD marker. Just look for the ominous black cloud, right? Alright, so that is tier zero done. Alright, so next we're on to here. And look at that, we got everything automated for that, which is perfect. So now the next question is, is where do we go from here? Do we productivity display? Interesting. That's cool. See, I never really look at these things. Oh, yes. Definitely automation. Look at that. Everything that I need is being automated at 100%. Which is good. Uh, let me check on the recording time here. No, well, looking at the recording time, I think it's a good place to stop. Or well, I think we're over the 40-minute mark right now. But definitely get to the point where things are definitely being automated. 
I know that we're going to have to get to the point of doing like speed upgrades and stuff like that. That's what those power slugs are for. But that's where I got to start doing my research. Now, the only thing about the research is I don't know if it's actually going to take as long as it says it's going to take. Like it's actually going to take... No, oh, it was eight minutes. I go figure. Well, I might as well ramble on for the next minute and we'll see what we get out of that. And then go from there. Uh, have we got anything new in here we can build yet? Object scanner. And this uh, scans for objects. Yes, I think that's one of those things where you, if you want to find the, the the barrel nuts or the the pale berries or whatever, you can uh, use that. And then beacons are for locating things. Yes. Okay, so these guys are chugging along. That is stopped because why? Production speed. Production speed and production cost. They both are four second cycles, as you can see, four seconds. But because the plate needs two ingots and the rods only need one, we're going to go through more ingots on the on the plate side than the rod side. So there will be a little bit of backup, but that does not matter. You know, I know how to automate. We'll take care of that as soon as we f see what MAM has to say. And what do you got? And no, I guess it didn't really do much for me. Fluffy top tailed hog. Interesting. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start scanning more of these. So I still have two more. If I can find the inventory space. Stack, please. I said a stack, thank you. And yeah, I'll get this one crafted, uh, researching, and we'll check it out in the next episode. And until then, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I will see you in the next one. Later. Oh, ten of them. Oh my god.